Hi everyone, Zach here, and welcome to the prep video for lesson 13. Though really, this isn't a normal prep video. I'm not going to do any prep, any explanations, I'm just going to give challenges. This video and this series have been brought to you by Patreon sponsors. That said, let's look at the challenges, also what we are doing in this tutorial. So, in this tutorial we'll be creating functions for discarding items, splitting stacks, swapping items, and the supporting functions, which are mostly pure functions, needed to do these things. That said, we won't implement the functionality of these functions until later in this section when we have the menus related to these topics. Now all of this said, what I want to do is provide you three challenges to do. First, we've talked about the four main principles of OLP. We talked about encapsulation, inheritance, abstraction, and polymorphism. You've seen me intentionally violate some of these for challenges, polymorphism and abstraction. Abstraction is something I haven't mentioned that I'm intentionally violating until now. You've seen me intentionally violate one of them, polymorphism, for some usability features. So let's think about abstraction. In section one of this series, we created a hunger statistic. Now this hunger statistic works in sort of the inverse of the wording itself, which can be kind of seen as bad abstraction. So your first challenge is to think of a better naming system to use the functions and variables and implement them. For your second challenge, in this, in this section, in this video in particular, the video will show me creating a output that I've created numerous times before, and that is determining if a slot is empty. So after completing the, this video, the third video on functionality for our inventory system, Go back and iterate the code so there's only one function. So we are now have good abstraction and good encapsulation. Uh, also, technically good polymorphism for determining if a slot is empty or not. Also, this might mean that you're going to not actually have, you know, just one function that determines if it's empty or not, but implement one function and all the other functions that return if a slot is empty or not. Consider what the slots return and if you always need to return that extra data. If you're not comfortable doing so yet, you can wait until the end of this section. And third, what I want you to do, and this one is one that I want you to start thinking about, but you're going to want to do after completing this section, is iterate the codes and the related widgets for the inventory, the inventory system itself, and the items. There will be other areas, and to be honest, I had a third challenge for this in particular for a spot for you to look at, but I've honestly completely blanked on what it is, and I've been thinking about it for two days trying to remember and I can't. So I am going to tell you there are other ones that I am missing that I know are in there that you can have better abstraction with. In addition to this, consider data abstraction, which I'll talk more about in the next prep video. Um, find the variables that are public and consider which ones need to be private and how to implement that data abstraction. So as I said, they'll need to be private. That's part of the uh, data abstraction. You'll need to use getters and setters, which we've already done in many cases, but you'll need to find a way to implement these, maybe using interfaces in a few cases. That said, there will be no prep video until about video 17, I believe. Um, actually, that might not be true. There might be one prep video. Actually, that might not be true. There might be one more prep video talking about widgets uh, upcoming either on video 14 or 15. Um, but after that point, this is the last prep video, oh, that will be the last prep video before video 17, mostly because up until that point we'll be doing things we've already talked about in depth, and I want to just get you working on the material and thinking about the things we've already covered. That said, this video and this series have been brought to you by Patreon sponsors like Rian, Haynes, and Quad Manson. If you've enjoyed this series, make sure to hit the like button down below and the subscribe and notify icon so you know when the next video is out. That said, I look forward to seeing you in the main tutorial proper and hope that you have a wonderful day.